Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Kathleen Lights from YouTube, she's a YouTube beauty guru. She deals mostly with makeup, but she actually created her own line of nail polish, which probably all of you know, hopefully most of you know. But if you didn't, yes, yeah, she created her own line of nail polish and she released the spring collection. So this is her second release of polishes. There are six new colors for this spring. So we are gonna do a live application review of them. If you are new to my channel, what I do is I review them live for you on my nail like a live swatch so that you can see exactly what the formula is gonna be like before you purchase because looking at a picture of something, while well, that really helps you know what the color is gonna look like and really how beautiful the polish is, I feel like it really helps to see a application of how something swatches because for me, formula makes a big difference in whether I'm going to want to wear something because the application process is all part of the fun for me. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. If you look in the description bar below, I always link wherever I purchase something. So I did purchase these myself. They were not sent for review and the link will be down below where you can go do that as well. These are very reasonably priced, I feel, for an indie brand. Indie just means it's independent, which means that she's not backed by like a like a big main brand corporation. As far as I know, nowhere in her video has she ever claimed to make these herself. I believe she has a team of people that she works with. They bring her basically formulas and she approves them, the colors and the formulas, and then they are sent to the factory to be made. And But it does have her name on it because she does come up with the colors and all the ideas and she founded the brand. So she's not sitting at home mixing these herself as a, like a regular indie brand that you think of, but she is and it is an independent brand of her own. So let's go ahead and get into these swatches. I don't really have a rhyme or a reason of which ones I'm gonna swatch first. I just picked the two lightest shades. So there are two very light shades here, one that is a kind of creamy bone white and another that is a very light grayed out purple. So let's start with this white. It is called Coconut Milk. And this is very beautiful. I did go ahead and do three coats for this. There are a few polishes that did need three coats. The lighter ones did. And um, this is really pretty. The polishes all, except for the um, metallic polish, which I have on my nails, they all had a very crelly-like consistency. They weren't exactly crellies, which if you aren't aware of that word, that means it's in between a jelly, which is a very juicy, somewhat more sheer, consistency which usually means that there's more base than there is pigment and a cream which has a lot of pigment and usually reaches a higher level of opacity it's kind of in between those for those of you who understand the lingo very well so when I swatched these they did they had like a very um, almost milky feel to them, it's, which is funny because this one's called coconut milk. So anyway, you'll see as I'm swatching them, this was actually one of the sheerest, which makes sense because it's a very light polish and I'm sure she was probably going for a very delicate look, like almost a salon look because this was sheer. So I did three coats for it. So this is coconut milk, the first polish in the collection. The next polish is one of my favorites, absolutely for sure. This is called Hug and Roll. And like I said, this is the very light kind of lavender gray. And this, for such a light polish, it did not apply like coconut milk. It still applied beautifully, but it was more opaque. It was more on the cream side of a polish, a little bit more pigment, I think, in this one. And I really loved it. It's just absolutely the kind of color that I love. I love the application. I love that I didn't need to really do those three coats. So very happy with this one. going to do the two most springy looking shades to me. So first up we have this green which is called pistachio ice cream and this is definitely like a dirty a dirty pistachio I think. Lots of times brands interpret pistachio as like a light almost minty green but this looks more true to what an actual pistachio nut looks like at least to me. It's definitely more of like a dirty green so I'm not saying that that's bad. I actually kind of like that she played it more true to the actual pistachio color. This applies lovely in two coats. I really really enjoyed the application. I haven't worn any of these longer than a day so I can't really attest to how her formula wears but as we've discussed before on my channel 
The wear time of a polish lots of times depends on the base coat that you're using. You, Not everybody benefits the same off the same base coat depending on how, you know, the different makeup of our body. So find the right one for you and that's going to help you out a lot and also making sure there's no oils on your nails before you paint and making sure you wrap your tips. So anyway, this is really beautiful. We went on a little tangent there, but I really like it. For me, um, there's actually a green that's very similar to this promoted in the new China Glaze collection, and I think I prefer it. Even though I, I like this color and I'm gonna hold on to it, I really enjoyed wearing it. But for me, when I pick a spring green, I like it to be just a little bit, I don't know, happier for me. It just I want it to be a little bit less grayed out. That's totally personal preference, but I did want to let you know that if this is a little bit too um, moody, I think would be a good word for it. If it's a little bit too moody for you, then there is a really nice like bright, bright spring one in the China Glaze collection. But if you love this, it has a great formula. Next up we have my other favorite out of the collection, and this is a really beautiful light. This is an epitome of like what a spring shade looks like to me. This is a very kind of happy tone and it's called St. Clair and I just love it. It looks fresh, bright, clean. The color of course is just absolutely the kind of shade that I'm drawn to. So this is my other favorite along with that kind of gray purple and it applies great at two coats. So yes, definitely loving this one. Next up we have the nude shade in the collection. This is called Miss Honey. And this one had a very similar formula to the first polish that I showed you. This one is gonna be another three coater. I'm not really sure why she felt the need to do that with this shade, um, but in any case, this is very pretty, but because it needed the three coats for me, there's so many nudes out there that are in this kind of shade. I would probably select one of the other ones for my manicure over this just because I don't wanna to have to do that many coats. But if you really like how this looks, how it's a little bit kind of squishy look on the nail, it is a really lovely color. So this is Miss Honey. And last but not least, this is the very opaque, actually, we only really needed one coat here. That's what she said, which has the best name out of the collection. And it's a rose gold. Like I said, it has great opacity. I'm gonna show you two coats in the live application because at one coat, even though it gave you complete coverage, you didn't really need the second coat for any streaky issues or anything like that, no patchiness. But I wanted it to look a little bit uh, fuller and richer, so I gave it that second coat so it didn't look like just like a plain sheet of metal. So um, yeah, this is really pretty. This polish, I did have some brush strokiness on it, so if that really, really bothers you, there are some things you can do to get rid of that. Um, but anyway, yes, it's really pretty. And of course, like I said, I think the name is so cute. All right, you guys, so that is the whole review. I hope you found it helpful. That's all I'm trying to do is give you a live application so that you can see how they apply before you purchase. And usually you guys want to know which ones are my favorites. So that's why I let you know my preferences. And like I said, I really enjoyed the blue called St. Clair and the purple one. Well, it's kind of purple. It's just like barely purpley gray called Hug and Roll. So there you have it. Um, thanks for stopping by today, you guys. I hope you subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you back for the next video. Take care. Bye.